When the credits roll at the end of Mortal Kombat 11 story mode, the slate has been wiped clean. After a variety of time travel hijinks, everyone's second favourite Shaolin monk Liu Kang has ascended into godhood and is ready to begin writing an all new chapter in Mortal Kombat history. It's as close to a perfect ending as you can get to the almost 30 years of convoluted lore this series has. But now there's Aftermath, Mortal Kombat 11's optional expansion that tacks on a handful of new chapters to that narrative. And while the idea of a story focused add-on to this fighting game is an exciting prospect, and it certainly has its high moments, when the credits roll for the second time, there isn't that same sense of gratification. At the beginning of Aftermath, which immediately follows the end of Mortal Kombat 11, Liu Kang is interrupted by the nefarious sorcerer Shang Tsung. Along with the righteous wind god Fujin and the badass indigenous shaman Nightwolf, the trio stops Liu Kang from proceeding with his rebuilding plans with the warning that they need to go back in time, again, to retrieve a MacGuffin in order to stop the process from going to shit. Over 5 chapters and a cinema appropriate 2.5 hour running time, the 5 Mortal Kombat characters that have now been introduced to MK11 as post release content get to make their mark in the story. The chapters cover the hijinks of Shang Tsung, Nightwolf and the Banshee Queen Sindel from the Fighters Pack 1 DLC, as well as 2 characters newly introduced in Aftermath, Fujin and the 4 armed Shiva. The relatively brief running time of the whole thing allows it to be mostly filled with great moments. The blockbuster flair present in the original story mode is again in full force, as is the excellent fight choreography that makes you want to leap out of your chair. There's still that weird disconnect when an extravagant fight cinematic transitions into the more rigid nature of the game's actual one-on-one -on -one fights, but there are some good moments that lie in the gameplay portions too, like the handful of battles where you have an assist character to call on. The absolute highlight of the story, and probably the whole aftermath package, is undoubtedly Kiri Hiroyuki Tagawa's performance as he reprises Shang Tsung. He is deliciously evil, and the fact that he knows that every other character is incredibly wary of his inevitable betrayal only feeds his playfully arrogant ego. Great facial animations and expressions, along with the amusingly unscrupulous timbre of his voice help to really nail key moments here. His sly, smirking grin definitely left a big impression on me. Why are we listening to this snake? Because I am a snake who's toiled beside Kronika, learning her secrets. I know them. Do you? Shang Tsung is an absolute treasure, and the overall story is mostly entertaining all the way through. My exception is Shiva's chapter, in which the plot barely moves forward. But I couldn't help but feel a bit ambivalent when it was all said and done, since the story essentially leaves the series lore in the same place. That's a big relief in a way, and I'm glad the five new characters managed to get some time in the spotlight. I mean, this is a great roster. But that comes at the cost of taking away some of the grand prospects of endless possibility that we were left with last time. A new ending teaser definitely seems to narrow the scope somewhat. Superfluous story aside, the other content included in the Aftermath expansion are three new characters, the aforementioned Shiva and Fujin, as well as special guest character Robocop from the classic 1987 Paul Verhoeven film, which is the only Robocop movie that exists as far as I know. Shiva is a heavy hitting grappler with some great advancing options, best characterized by her flying stomp where she disappears off the screen before crashing down on her opponent. Fujin is an incredibly flashy and unique character who is excellent at controlling space with ricocheting crossbow bolts, the ability to push and pull his opponents all over the place with the power of wind, and he also has the delightful ability to run through the air and strike from above. I love both of these new characters, though your enjoyment may vary depending on your preferred playstyle. Robocop, on the other hand, I didn't quite gel with. He's a keep away character who mainly focuses on keeping his opponents at bay with a number of projectile and knockback options, a style that feels in line with the character. It can be a killer strategy if you have the patience and the ability to read your opponent's movements well, but it's unfortunately not something that I excel at, and as a result, I didn't find Robocop to be as interesting of a character, movie homages aside. The release of Aftermath also sees Mortal Kombat 11 get a major update that adds new brutality finishes for every character, new stages, as well as the introduction of some stage-specific fatalities and friendship finishes. The Retrocade stage, in which an in-universe projector beams out classic Mortal Kombat stages, accompanied by a period-appropriate soundtrack, is one of my personal favourites. But friendships are the significant new addition. Instead of finishing your opponent by mutilating them, 
Each character now has the option to show off their playful side with bizarre performances of unabashed joy, though some are certainly a lot more inspired than others. Jax's saxophone solo is a clear frontrunner, and Shang Tsung's Rainbow Garden is on the other end of the scale. It's a little terrifying to see the Mortal Kombat characters smile so hard, but overall they're definitely a worthwhile inclusion. But the friendships, new stages, and all of that other stuff is freely available for owners of Mortal Kombat 11, and the only content exclusive to Aftermath are the additional story chapters and three new characters. Though that's a very welcome decision, free is good, it makes Aftermath less compelling when considered specifically on its own terms. Mortal Kombat 11 remains one of the best fighting games of this console generation, and the recent update makes it better. Aftermath introduces a couple of great characters and the expanded story definitely has its highs, but it's not essential to your enjoyment of an already superb game. Friends. Shiva wins flawless victory.